Hey guys, it's Xterix and today I'm going to teach you how to make your top bar and your bottom bar hide as you scroll using Protopy. I'll leave a link to the Figma file in the description below. Just in case you need to channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like to this video for more videos like this. Alright, let's have fun. Okay guys, I've imported my designs from Figma. To get this free Figma design file, you can use the link in the description below. Okay, let's start by previewing our design. As you can see at the moment, we can't even scroll. So the first thing we have to do is to add a scroll container. Okay, just follow along. Head over to your container, select scroll container, drop it on your design file and then resize it as so. Okay. Okay. Then for the purpose of this tutorial, I have grouped our design assets so that we can work way faster and better. So on your layers panel, select group 1 and group 2 and put it into your newly created scroll container. Rename container 1 which is your scroll container to scroll container so that this way we get to work better. As you can see at the top of the layer, we have to take it down to the bottom. Okay. Now let's review our design. Okay. At this moment, as you can see, we can scroll but our top bar and our bottom bar isn't hiding yet so we have to tell protopy that when we scroll downwards we want our top bar and our bottom bar to hide and when we scroll upwards we want them to come back up but how do we tell this to protopy please don't forget in case you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please do so because you are supporting me and that will make me to drop more interesting videos like this okay, thank you Okay guys, with your scroll container highlighted, I want you to scroll downwards over to where you see scroll. Impute the value 100. I want to show you guys something. Okay, click on preview. As you can see, our design moved upwards. What this is trying to tell us is that a positive number on the scroll container means you're scrolling down, while a negative number means you're scrolling up. So with knowledge of this, we can easily communicate to Protopy that when we scroll downwards we want our top bar and bottom bar to hide and when we scroll upwards we want our top bar and bottom bar to come back okay but we need to store the position of this scroll container so what we are going to do is to create a variable for this particular scene let's name this variable scroll position okay i want you to click on this little icon here which will show us the particular scroll position at a particular time okay, let's just drop it here click on your preview for now as you can see it's not working because we haven't assigned any number to it yet okay now it's time to add sorry now it's time to add the detect trigger to detect our scroll position and our scroll container okay, click on detect select your search for your scroll container okay then properties select screw then add the assign response we want to put our current school position into the school position variable think of this as a container okay so click on this fx symbol here which stands for formula click on the plus sign search for your school container okay yes then impute dots this brings out all the properties that we can work with in formulas choose school offset okay so now let's preview this and let's see if it's working so while we scroll as you can see the numbers are increasing you see the scroll position is increasing and it's adding but while we scroll upwards you see it's decreasing so what this means is that while we scroll upwards the number decreases and while we scroll downwards the number increases with this we can achieve the effect we want to achieve okay so now we need to all we need to do now is to add our if condition Add your if condition now we want to double the that while the number it's adding that means we are scrolling downwards what it means that while we are scrolling downwards we want our top bar and bottom bar to hide so doing that we're going to select our school container and then we're going to select school value okay so what we want to say is while if our scroll container scroll value is greater than the value that is in the scroll position variable 
because at this moment right now it is zero so once this number increases that means we are scrolling downwards and we want our top bar and our bottom bar to hide so when this happens we should add out some response we want to add a move response we want our top bar search for top bar sorry to move to position zero that's just upwards as you can see sorry the number here is 123 that's the number of our top bar currently but when we scroll downwards we want it to move to zero position okay we are going to use let's use linear for this okay good 0 0.2 and not just the top bar but we also want the bottom bar to do the same so add another move response this time around search for the bottom bar okay then at this moment it's at 769 on the y-axis but we want it to go down completely and the complete frame of this device is 852 as for the height so we just want it to go down all the way to 852 okay good using the same linear movement okay let's test it let's preview this and let's see how it works okay while you scroll downwards you see it hides but it's you see but right now it's not coming back up because we haven't worked with that yet okay let's do that so that it will come back up okay so now let's add another condition this time around when the scroll container when the scroll container scroll value is less than the value in the variable already scroll position sorry less than we want our top bar we want our top bar to come back to its position one two three good remember we are using the linear movement and we have to do the same thing for the bottom bar you add the move response and you select your bottom bar okay we want it to come back exactly to seven six nine good don't forget to add linear response for a very smooth flow okay, let's see if it's working now let's preview this okay as we scroll it hides as we scroll back see it's working it's very very easy and even if you're a complete beginner i'm sure you can do this okay guys if you enjoyed this video please i want you to leave a thumbs up subscribe for more entertaining videos like this and if there's any animation you want me to take care of please tell me in the comment section below and i'll be very happy to take on it for you don't forget to turn off the icon beside your variable as previewed and as you can see it's working okay guys thank you hope to see you next time bye